Sports is Duke <coughs> Entertainment. Sports fans, let's talk sports. Logan Paul was on Good Morning America, and he said a lot of things that were interesting. And let's get to it straight. It's not a hate. It's not a video where I'm bashing him or I'm saying he's a terrible, horrible person. But let's just get to the points of what he said. One, he is not in it for the money. He's in it creating content, videos, stuff that entertains people, make them happy. I, I feel the same way. I love making videos. I love doing videos. It, <clears throat> it's what makes me happy and he said that his videos are not for little kids and he's pretty shocked that there's like 12 year olds that are watching his video and he asks the moms hey you let your kids watch my stuff and they said and mom and dad uh, the mom or the dad are like yeah, what am I supposed to do? But does he elaborate on to tell the parents why they shouldn't let their kids watch Logan Paul or even Jake Paul? Let's get it straight. And if this is not kid-friendly stuff, then well, why don't you got a rating system on it? Why, won't, why does YouTube not have that rating system that it had or a warning this is not suitable for kids or even some kind of rating age restriction where you can't even watch the video so maybe it's on both parts and Logan Paul said that he was trying to show everyday life of what happens when people commit suicide The thing is, I don't agree with that. That there's so many better ways to show to show that to talk to people. If you really wanted to show the daily life of somebody or what people are feeling, you don't show that. That that's just nothing that you need to show. It, there's so many better ways. Talk to people. Talk to people that what you did in that video when you came back. That's what you should have done from the beginning. And hey, he said he made a mistake. And he doesn't want people to forgive him. <clears throat> so my question is, will his channel ever be the same? Will his channel ever be as big as it was because it was really huge on YouTube before this ever happened. I really highly doubt that his channel will be just totally wiped out. Give it a few months <clears throat> and pretty much you'll see him back. You'll see him doing the same crazy vlogs or maybe you won't. Maybe his channel will be totally not well not gone, not even on YouTube. But maybe it won't be the same. Maybe some people have lost trust with him. Some people in their community of YouTube has lost trust. Because in your right mind, if you see something like this, you don't tape it. Don't tape something like that. It's it's kind of disrespectful. It's very disrespectful because you don't know what that person or that other person went through, and, and nobody could know. And hey, I'm not going to say that he's a terrible person, that Logan Paul is the worst person in the world. He made a mistake, but can he learn from it? Can he grow from it? Can he 
get his self in a point where he knows that he's not supposed to do this kind of stuff. This kind of stupid stuff to get yourself to use. To get yourself up there to be, you know, I got all these views and I, I, I'm a famous vlogger or something. You know, hopefully he understands that there's more important things in life than money, having views, and being famous on YouTube. Family, friends, God. That's pretty much an important thing. That's the most important thing in life. And let's get it straight. I don't like Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Blocking is just stupid to me. And it's always seems like it's just where you're trying to find the most extreme thing that you could do to get people to watch. And it, it's pretty much Logan Paul will be back on YouTube in the same capacity that he was and probably even more popular but it's going to take some time it's going to take some time to, just like he said to gain their trust and he said I don't want you guys offending me I don't want you guys defending me at all so Logan Paul I think you did a good thing explain yourself but maybe you could explain yourself a little more a little maybe a little elaborate on some stuff that we that people would like to know but at least you came out at least you did an interview at least you told your side of the story so I hope all the best for you and I hope that you have learned from this experience and as always Awesome, radical, cowabunga, dude.